Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin from grayflorals.com and today we have the November 2019 How to Kill a Kit with Style Kill a Kit video where I share with you guys what's left of my kit, what I've used, and what I've made with it, and then what I've emptied because I also do empties in my favorites videos but sometimes people don't watch those so I include them in both. Um, but today's video is going to be rapid fire. As you guys know, I have this giant bin full of things I included in my kit. A lot of which I did not use. Um, I'm going to say it right now. I made a lot of things. I gave myself a lot of options, but I didn't use all of them. So we're gonna go through and rapid fire, didn't use, did, didn't, do, did, didn't, did, and that kind of thing. So to get started, use these enamel dots a bunch. They were brand new, used them a bunch. I used a couple of these and one, one of those. I did not use these three packs. But everything I'm showing you today will just go back in my stash once I'm done showing it. Um, I'm glad with everything that I got used. I don't think I used anything. I didn't use any of these. <laughs> so that's four stamp sets I didn't touch. Stickers, wood veneer, a card, and then a distress oxide. Didn't use those at all. Um, my dream is to eventually use them. They're perfect fall colors and I didn't use them. Guys, I've had those for months. Wild Honey is also my new favorite regular Distress Oxide ink, and if you guys are interested in seeing my favorites every month, I do upload monthly favorites videos at the beginning of the next month, so November's will go up in December, so you guys can watch that. This fell out. Uh, I gotta put that away. Did not use this new washi. Actually, it looks like I did, but I think that was just to swatch it. Didn't use that. Um, I do plan on using these. I have some test runs going, so I can use them on an actual layout. Didn't use my beautiful brush markers. I think I used one of these doilies, maybe. Stickers, I used a bunch of these. I'm actually pretty proud that I used this many. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven gone. Pretty good. Brand new set. I used this stamp set twice, and guys, this is such a cute stamp set. And I will try to have all these products linked down below, but there's a lot here. I know this is still available on Amazon, and it's perfect for our crafty selves. These were added in a little bit later into my kit, but I did not use them. So that's the first tier. Oh, we have one more washi tape in there. I didn't use this one either, but they'll just go back together. First tier done. Didn't use a lot from it, but it was fun to try to use. Oh, I found one more washi tape. This one I did use. Once, twice, once. Once. But I used it. So I'm happy about that. Next here is one of my favorites. Um, I didn't end up using any of these silver ones. However, I did use the gold and have since misplaced them. They might be in this kit somewhere. I used two of these pieces on one layout. Happy about that. I've had those forever. This was a brand new pack. I used a bunch of those. This was a brand new pack. I used five of those. One label here. None there. None there. But that's okay. Those will sit on my desk. I use those all the time. Um, this was pretty much brand new, if I remember correctly. Um, so I used a bunch of these. Really love these Jen Hadfield Puffy stickers. These were brand new as well. I think I used four total. And then this was pretty much brand new. I'd used it a couple times, but I did pull for it quite a bit. Um, I used more of those strips, um, some of these phrase stickers, little arrows and such. So that's fun. Illustrated Faith. This is the biggest pocket probably, um, full of chuck, chuck full of stuff. I didn't use this New York uh, thing. I did not use that. I didn't, I did not use that. Um, I didn't use that one or that one. I did use this. Yay, a stamp set. Um, I used a bunch of these on both cards and on layouts, so really excited. It's definitely like in half maybe since I've had them, um, so that's good. Um, these uh, Webster's Pages stickers, I, I really think they're very beautiful. I think I just need to use them with their actual... I have the coordinating papers that go with them, I just didn't put them in this kit because I really like options and this will have to be a different kit sometime. But I used two out of the, I don't know, 50 stickers here. Not too bad, but definitely could have been better. I didn't use this one, despite having to make birthday cards this month. I didn't reach for this one. I did use a different one, though, so that's okay. I used one of these. I used two of these, again, brand new, so that's good. And Freckle Font's having an awesome sale right now, guys, if you haven't checked that out. These I think I added in later. I used one of them for a birthday card. These I used on two different layouts. Happy about that. I almost tossed a bunch of stickers by accident. Freckled Fawn label stickers have my heart. Let's see, I don't, I think I only used one this time. Used a couple of those and then a few of these. Really, really love their label stickers. Excellent. These things that I thought I'd use, 
I did not use, um, I didn't use any of these ephemeras. Pirate Tales did not use, I Love Summer did not use, Animal Safari did not use, and Best Summer Ever did not use. Um, I do have plans for these. Um, I'm not ignoring them. I just didn't get to the layouts that I wanted to this month, so those are there. And then we also had this one, the other Animal Safari one. I had two of those. One's the tags and frames, and one of them's the bits and pieces, so um, have those. I used one out of this, and again, this was added later. I used a bunch of these Freckled Fawn stickers. These might be my favorite, and they still have them in stock. Guys, run and go get these. I love these puffy stickers. They're so dainty, but also puffy. I think I used 10 total. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8. Um, I used a couple of these brads. Again, I have Disney pages to do. This is very Disney-esque Alice in Wonderland. Didn't get to them this month. Another thing that I thought I'd use more this month were these block letters. But again, I have the papers that pretty much go with these um, in my stash because I bought them at the same time. I just didn't get to use any block letters. But these colors were not ones I really worked with this month. Maybe this blue and craft, but that's okay. Another stamp set I did not use. They're stacking up, them stamp sets, man. <laughs> I promise I used a lot. You'll see what I made. I used quite a few of these. Um, this was brand new. I used this title piece. I used a couple of these accent pieces. These were brand new as well. Used quite a bit of those. And they were all in the same layout. This was pretty much brand new. I think I used three, four. So happy about that. These were brand new as well. I used two pieces out of there. This was pretty much brand new. I had, I think, a few missing, but um, I used a couple of those. One for a date. This was also brand new, used a title, used a bunch of the banners and little icons. This was not brand new, or was it? I used a couple of these pieces as well, but this was something I added in later. Um, I did not use this stamp set. I did not use these traveler's notebooks, but I do have big plans for them, so eventually we will. The coordinating chipboard for the Echo Parks collection. Uh, again, I didn't get to the zoo pictures that I wanted to, so we still have that. And this is the final stretch, guys. We're almost there. Um, these two stamp sets did not use. I did, however, use this one. This one was a stamp and die set, and I'm still in the midst of making them, but I'm making a bunch of Christmas cards, and I've uh, cut and colored a bunch of these images, guys. Like, really happy. But look at these cute sentiments. They're also not super, like, Merry Christmas, how precious, but there's also a bunch of regular ones, so I can use these for, you know, just winter cards. So I did use that a ton. And I don't have those cards made, but I can show you the images I've colored. These things were in there. Um, I've had these for a while, and this is just a storage pouch. So those will just go back where they came from. I did not use my dollar store stickers at all. I think I'll actually end up getting rid of these. They're not my thing. They're too bright. Way too bright for my liking. I did not use any of the... Oh, just kidding. I used uh, an arrow and a heart out of this one. I don't think I used this one or these. And guys, I'm getting so close to the camera now. The items are stacking up. I did not use a, this one this month. I did not use this this month. I didn't use these alphabets this month. Did I include a million gazillion things? Yes. Is that my fault? Yes. Am I happy with what I used? Yeah. I'm still happy about that. Then we have this sticker sheet I did not use from um, Echo Park. It's brand new. Still haven't touched it. I did, however, use this collection kit that I ended up putting in there. This was brand new. Um, I made one layout with it. Then we had the Case of the Blahs collection that I started with at the beginning of the month. I think I used it on two different layouts. Um, I have two these two sheets left. Actually, this side's better. I have these two sheets left. Um, and a couple scraps in the 6x6 six six still left. So I'm really happy with the progress on those. So, with that being said, um, do I recommend making a kit like this or a little, at least a place to put all of your new things so you're inspired to use them? Yes, I recommend it. Um, I thought it was great to have this place for if I needed a starting point for a layout or if I needed um, an idea or just a finishing touch. This was the first place I looked. Um, I also have a little bin now on my desk for things that are almost empty, so I can always go there and look for pieces to finish off my layout or to add my, to my layout. So for example, these two items are in there, and they only have a couple pieces left. So now I have that kind of bin on my desk as well. So I'm actually going to put everything back in here, sort of like the way it was, um, because I think I'll keep using it throughout December. If you guys 
have been with me for a while, you'll know that I don't scrapbook December in December. I don't do December daily or any of those. It's just not my thing. Um, and I don't have at-home printing, so it's a bit more stressful to kind of plan that kind of stuff. But I will be doing Vlogmas, so if you guys have not heard of Vlogmas, essentially I'll be doing daily vlogs, which are like uh, day-in-the-life videos where you guys will come with me. I'll show you what I'm doing for work, and I'll show you what I'm doing crafty-wise, and if we do any fun events. I know we want to go to the light festival, and we want to do fun Christmas stuff, go to the stores. I'll be vlogging all of that and sharing it with you guys. Um, so I'll be uploading a vlog every day in December, December 1st through 26th, um, because they're uploaded a day afterwards. Um, so my announcement video for my new series will be going up December 1st. The first day of Vlogmas will be December 2nd. Um, if you guys are excited about that, let me know in the comments down below. I know some of you have been through Vlogmas before with me. I've done it two years before, um, both in 2015 and 2017 I did Vlogmas. Um, so we're due for another year of it um, because it's been another uh, space or year in between. So I will be doing that. So that'll eat up a lot of my time, but I'm really excited to be doing it again. I think it's so much fun and it's so nice to have those memories to look back on and to, you know, watch how we've grown over the years and have those elements to keep forever in a video format online. And if you guys have not checked out my YouTube community tab yet on my channel, I do a lot of polls over there for what you guys want to see. Um, so definitely check that out if you're interested in, you know, say, having a say with what happens with this channel and, you know, what we do on here. I post a lot of different polls over there. So definitely check that out. Um, I also have my patrons. I ask them a ton of questions over on Patreon so they can help pick out things for the channel and what will happen um, in the future. So definitely check that out if you haven't already as well. Um, and as I mentioned before, all these products will be linked down below and I also have the playlist for the month linked down below so you guys can check that out if you're interested in watching any of the Falling Back to Basics or any of the different uh, process videos for my November How to Kill a Kid with Style. Now, we're going to jump straight into the layout share. And like I said, I do have some empties to share with you. And these will also be in my favorites video. First off, I finished off a set of rhinestones. I have this really clear piece here. I did these uh, cute decorated cards, um, a bunch of little Christmas card set. And it's from 2012. It's really old. I bought it at Target. Hero Arts set. Really cute. Finished it. It's gone. These were some Thanksgiving stickers, finished off this Heidi Swap sticker set, trying to finish the rest of those. The shakers that I'd put in my kit, finished those. I finished a pack of stickers, guys. These were word phrase stickers from Amy Tangerine. I finished those up and I'm very, very proud of that. That might be my first stickers pack I've ever finished. I'm close to my second one. Um, I have like two more pieces left in it for those phrase stickers, so really excited about that. Now, let's get into the fun goodies that I've made this month. Cards, a ton of them. Um, this might not even be all of them. I might make a few more before November's actually over. I'm filming this before Thanksgiving, so I hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving. If you're watching this and you're getting in the sales and the spirit of the holiday season, happy holidays to everyone. Um, I created this one, and these are all in a video. This one and this one. So those three are in a video that is in the playlist. These are those Christmas cards I was talking about. I have a ton more, but I've already written in those ones. Um, so essentially what they are is they're just like a put together set and then they can stand up on their own when you bend out their little trunk like that. So I thought those are super cute and fun to do. This was my card making for scrapbooker series. I did these with Sarah Scraps, focusing on using flair on cards that we already have. So that was fun. Some fall cards. Um, like I said, I'm filming this before Thanksgiving, so these will be gone by the time you're actually watching this, but that's fun. And then my boyfriend's birthday card. Um, I didn't do anything fancy, just some cute colors. Um, he loves all the cards I make, so I'm sure he'll enjoy this one. And now on to the layouts. We made a bunch of layouts this month, and I'm really, really excited about it. Lots of various products, lots of different designs. But I want to say they were all multi-photo, which is something I focused on specifically for this month. Something that I love to do is multi-photo layouts, um, and I think it's definitely worth it. So I combined some old with new on this one. Um, I had one of those shakers left, so I used it on here. But this is some really old Kane Company paper. And again, I'll have the um, playlist linked down below. So this is my cute kitty on her quilt. 
I did a double pager for the 6x6 fun that Janet at RTS Scrapbooking hosted for Scrapbook Generations. So it says, yes, no, maybe. Oh, actually, this is backwards. <laughs> Guys, I forgot. It says, enjoying the ride. Yes, no, maybe. Um, I thought that was cute. So this is only four photos, but the background's pretty much entirely made out of 6x6 papers, um, except the bottom piece here. So that's really fun and unique to do. And I got to use a bunch of that Pink Fresh Studio Case of the Blas collection. Um, I also got to work with the lovely Scrapbook Your Joy store. I got to guest design for them this month, and since my theme was new items, I got to work with the Coco Vanilla Unforgettable Collection. And guys, this is my first time working with Coco Vanilla. Absolutely amazing. Um, and if you haven't checked out the Scrapbook Your Joy store, I definitely do. It's a great place to pick up your Coco Vanilla Studio or other collections, especially if you're in Canada. She is a Canadian real retailer, but she also ships to the United States, which is really nice. This one might be one of my favorites of the month. It was so much fun to work on and so much fun to do. Um, I had a lot of fun with this one. Really bright and colorful. And this is the I Love Summer Collection, I think, from Echo Park. This one was a doozy talking about mixing and matching pattern papers. Book Hunt, <laughs> really cute title. Um, I love how this one turned out as well. Navy and pink was a theme. You'll see. I ended up using it a lot. Life Documented, this one was also really beautiful. Uh, I love these photos of myself. That's why I wanted them to be on their own page um, and with some beautiful florals, wood grain, my favorite things. It worked out really nice. And again, this was for Scrapbook Your Joy. This one I did in a live stream with my patrons. Um, this was all about colorful photos. You know, we had a yellow photo, super tinted, um, and how I tackled that. And if you guys are interested in joining Patreon, I'll have it linked down below. We do exclusive live streams, including this one was in a live stream. I adore how this turned out. And if you guys know me, I scrapbook my cats a lot. Um, this is my cat at my parents' house. Her name is Honey, um, but she loves to drink cereal milk. So that's what this layout's about. And again, I did that exclusively on the scrapbook stream. Um, for my photo pack patrons and we'd love to have you join you get so many great benefits that I think are great You get printables every month which includes sketches or worksheets or actual printables you can use on your layouts um, You get a live stream every month you get diff exclusive blog posts every month and exclusive real-time process videos So definitely check it out if you're interested down below You could ask for it as a Christmas gift if you want um, if you're interested in supporting me and getting more content Here's one that I made for uh, the Falling Back to Basics series talking about clusters and color and pattern and I love how this one turned out. Um, it's definitely different than I originally intended, um, but I really love how it turned out. This one might be one of my favorites. I used some really old DCWV paper, which I think is from 2008, um, and this was for Multi-Photo Monday. And I used some sequins. It's been a while since I've been pulling out my sequins, so I'm glad to be getting back into that routine. Um, but I really love mixing and matching all of the collections for this page. This one was a favorite among you guys. Um, you really loved this page because it was just... It's a conglomerate of everything that I love. Glitter, flowers, pink, blue, navy. Wow, beautiful. I love how it turned out. There's no rules here. I talked about mixing and matching patterns again and, you know, uh, inking your edges and doing frames and all sorts of stuff. So this is a great process video to watch if you're interested. This was another Patreon exclusive. I went over mixing and matching pattern papers with your photos in a video here on YouTube, but then I did the process video over for my patrons. I actually ended up following a sketch and this is how it turned out. I went with the nautical papers. I know a lot of people were thinking I'd go with the butterflies, but I ended up going with the nautical ones, the pink and blue. Again, that's like the third pink and blue layout. This is another Patreon exclusive. I did a whole little mini class about making shakers using your punches, and then I put it onto a real-time process video. So I have a shaker on this one that I created. Really love that Simple Stories cat collection. I think it's your perfect, or cats are perfect. Perfect. Definitely perfect. Um, and my cute kitties are on that one. This one you guys just saw. This was earlier this week. Um, and this was for just mixing and matching patterns and then how the um, end results comes about. So picking out the papers and then sitting down and doing the layout. Really love how this one turned out too. And I got to put the date on it. <laughs> and then the last one, which again you guys just saw, was this multi-photo piece Really, really love how this one turned out too. And as you can tell, I don't think I repeated collections hardly except for the um, Case of the Blahs and the Coco Vanilla Studio. I think almost all the other ones were just random stuff. And that's what I like to do 
And I hope you guys like that too, that I don't stick with one thing every month because people have different supplies. And to be honest, I get bored with supplies very easily, um, which is why everything looks so different all the time. I'm surprised I didn't do other sizes of layouts this month. Um, I'm surprised I didn't sneak in a pocket page or anything, but I stuck with the 12 by 12 um, which worked well with the series. So I'm really excited um, that the series is over, but it was so, so much fun. And I hope you guys had fun too with all of the things that happened this month. We had a lot of videos go up and I had a lot, a lot of fun doing them all for you. Um, I don't know if I have a favorite, but this one's definitely a close runner up. I also really loved this one. Guys, it's really hard to pick. Um, but it looks like I did 16 pages, including one double page, and then we had all the wonderful cards that I made and can't wait to send out. So let's see, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 cards here plus the ones I've already mailed, but it was a really successful month. I had a ton of fun working with this new kit that I made um, and working with a bunch of different supplies. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know which one was your favorite down below. Again, I'll have everything that I mentioned linked down below, all the playlists, all the links to my blog, to Patreon, all of those things. So you guys can watch all these layouts in one sitting via the November 2019 How to Kill a Kit with Style playlist. And if you're interested in the actual Falling Back to Basics series, that'll also be linked in a playlist down below so you can learn about all the patterns and things that I talked about. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you have a happy Thanksgiving and a happy holiday season. And I will see you guys again in December. Bye!